Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we did a lot of sand surfing uh, throughout the Gerudo Desert. We solved the puzzle having to do with seven giant statues, which, I'll be honest, took quite a long time. And in today's episode, we are rock climbing? Why are we rock climbing, Thawne? Well, the reason is, we, to be able to get the Thunder Helm, which has been our primary objective here for several, several episodes now, is to, um, get the Thunder Helm. And so, to get the Thunder Helm, we have to appease Riju and all of her people of Gerudo City, which apparently has to do with all the way out here on top of this god dang plateau. So that's why we're here. We're, uh... We're trying to get a thing that makes us immune to getting struck by lightning. How fun, right? Anyway, we are almost all the way up here. Um, the reason I decided to cut back in as we are doing this... It's not enough. It's part of the fun. It's part of the action. As you can see here, a little bit of survivalness having to come in. Um, we were freezing to death. Now we're uh, going to cook to death when we go back down, which that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine by our standards. Because all we care about is getting to... I'm still cold. Wow. Um, Link, your teeth are chattering. How does that make you feel? Um, let's go ahead and we're going to put on the, the snow quill. There we go. I like how... I You know, I've never noticed before, but there is a sweat animation on Link. For when he's sprinting. And it appears even when he's, like, freezing to death. And that is kind of glorious. And we just need to make it up the rest of this. Actually, I think we can take a rest here, can't we? Yeah, a little bit of rest, quote unquote. Kind of. Kind of screwed that up, but that's fine. Because we have stamina wheel for days. Alright, and all we need to do is find this little cabin. And read this book. First page. This is the log of my findings concerning the shrine that sleeps on a snowy Gerudo peak. Discovery. Day one. I came to the snowy mountain intending to find this ancient shrine that was written about in the old text. The shrine slumbers near the pedestal of the snowy Gerudo peak. I believe it, I've arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the passage. Day seven. It's been seven days since I arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the ancient text. Unfortunately, I'm eating through my food provisions more quickly than I anticipated. On a brighter note, I found an exploit explanation in the source text that may be the key to the riddle. When the snowy mountain pedestal glows, cast a cold shadow onto its core. I notice a faint glow onto the pedestal for a short while each day, but how, how to cast a cold shadow onto its core? It seems that this calls for further research. Day of Lost Count. I can feel that my hair is, I'm a hair's breath away from unlocking the secrets hidden within the pedestal. I'm certain that casting cold referred to using a specific type of shadow. But I've run out of food entirely, and I doubt now that I'll ever have the tools to do the job, whatever that might be. So what this is intending for us to do is... No, 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 no. Okay. Well, oh, rip that symbol. Oh! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Okay, I see, I see my mistake. Um, I was like, why, why is it doing the thing? Anyway, so what we need to do is we need to roll us around and make it bigger. Which really, it doesn't sound that hard, but, um, it's physics. Why would it ever, why would it ever work for me? You know, I'm going to walk up this hill just a little bit. Just kind of, eh. And this should work just fine. So now all we gotta do, I believe, is wait. Man, this game likes making me wait. I don't dare set a fire.
boulder? <laughs> but wait! There's more! We have to go into the shrine. Also, is there anything I didn't pick up here? My anger of monsters? <laughs> Alright, let's see what this shrine beholds. Is the Suma Shama. The Shuma Shama. The Shuma Shama Shrine. The Shuma Shama. A Shuma Shama Shrine. You know, it's actually been a long time since I've actually watched that animation. Like, I actually watched it, watched it. <laughs> All right, and Suma uh, uh, Sama Shrine is another blessing, which I'm okay with. We're actually getting a lot of nice gear from these, which is really nice. Um, and it's even it's made even nicer by the fact that I've been storing I stored a bunch of gear in the house. But I can hear you saying, "But wait, that one. This isn't much of an episode." I'd say to you, you're exactly correct. So what we are going to do is travel back this way to the Wasteland Tower, actually. Uh, so something that we missed when we were up there is actually a shrine! Like in the middle of plain view! Don't worry, it's because I'm blind! <laughs> I, I am I am desperately blind, though. It's pretty bad. Alright, well, where is the final place that we need to go? Where is this final venture? Right down here. Remember this part where it's like, oh, hey, this is all the scaffolding stuff that I don't want to bother with? that I completely ignored. Yeah, it's 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 down here. In the valley. I think I can actually see it from here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's great. I am trying to at least show off like where each of the shrines are, though. That way you guys know where they are. Um, not just me being like, ah, oh, we're at this shrine. Oh, we're at that shrine. Because par part of this... Hey, dude. Uh, part of this... Or part of the reason for showing off is this is a Let's Play. I, I want you guys to know where stuff is. I want you guys to be able to follow along for the most part like maybe not like you couldn't follow along with the dlc but if maybe say you're watching this at a later point and you have the dlc there have been people who are watching this in the future just to see like uh, what my older content was like because i'm sure at some point my content's going to totally change like the way it's done um and you don't have the dlc or anything like that that it, it at least shows it off you get to see what it's like and i believe for the most part that i've been doing a pretty good job representing representing how the content should presented so we are in the power of electricity so i think this was actually supposed to teach us the concepts of how like the electricity works and we completely missed it luckily we are smart and we we know an electricity puzzle when we see one okay so i have a feeling nothing happens unless both of them are lit up okay it was worth a try Ew. Oh no, I'm totally afraid. Die. I think I hit him with the parry. Which is hilarious. Oh, I, was, I hate having to use arrows for this stuff, but whatever. At least I got the arrow back. I need to remember to switch bows, though, because eventually the durability is going to get low on that bow, and it's going to make me very sad. Because it does give you very nice, clean shots and stuff. Drop that. Oh, cool. It makes a bridge for us. How nice. Oh, I think that... No, this isn't optional. This is a key. Never mind. I lied. I lied. Small key. Okay, so now what we could do though on the way back is we could freeze it. Wait, can you still hear it going? That's really interesting. Oh look, another guardian scout. And he just stood there and took it like a man. Hopefully we weren't supposed to bring the balls with us. Actually, I'm completely seeing how we could have cheesed these by bringing the ball with us. Get on the ball. Oh wait, was that all we had to do? That was all we had to do? <laughs> Whoops. Well, uh, I accidentally solved it. I thought we still had to look at what was going on the other side, and we totally didn't. So, uh, good job to us. Yeah. Woo. Oh, hey, there's a stable down here. What? I mean, I can't... Hi, Cass. I didn't realize there was a stable down here. That's nice, though. Not enough what? Buddy. 
Got any rush rooms? What's the matter? Uh, See, I, I, I'm tired. Tired going with normal speed, I mean. I just tried rush rooms when I was five years old. And came to think of it, I ate them every day once without fail. Back in the day, I'd win every race I ran thanks to those things. Uh, Cut to 55 years later, I could barely drag these bones off the ground without those rush rooms. And no matter how many I eat to fortify myself, I'm just too old to get up to the cliffs to pick rush rooms where they grow. Uh, That's why I'm letting... All able body sorts know that I'm on the market for them. I'll give a diamond for 55? Okay, then. Well, we do not have 55. Alright, so we got a little bit of a side quest there, but we are going to want to go ahead and head back to Gerudo Town. Um, the reason is we have one more, one more shrine I want to get out of the way before... Well, I'm not going to call it the end of the episode. We're actually going to go get the Thunder Helm. That's, that's the goal by this end of this episode. This episode will not end until we get the Thunder Helm. So hopefully nothing bad happens that makes the episode, like, super long. Like an hour. Because that happens. And it scares me. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we need to head that way, I believe. So... I actually need to head back into Gerudo Town really quickly. You know, I'm actually confused as to why I didn't just go the other way. And actually, I need to change my clothes again. Because guess what, guys? We probably want another sand sill. Unless you want the rest of the episode to be me literally running the entire way there. I mean, it could. I don't think anyone wants to watch that, though. Oh wait, got a statue. I never actually saw this was here. I was gonna I was gonna get our heart containers after the end of the episode, but I guess I won't anymore. Heart container come to me. Yeah. And then one more. See, this is one of those animations, and again, I'm, I'm kind of picking on the an Oh wait, it didn't do it a second time. As I was gonna say, it's one of those animations where like you like it the first time, and maybe the second time, and maybe the fourth time, but after like the 20th time, you get really bored of it. Uh, yeah, 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 another sand seal. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to say, let's seal the deal for another 20 rupees, because it's literally the fastest way to get around here. Okay. So we are gonna want to head immediately this way, I believe. I actually don't know what we're going for, per se. Uh, we need to come up here. And basically what we want to do is we want to leave where this corner is and just head straight out this way. I believe, unless we already found it. No, we didn't. Right, I'm just making sure. I could be a little bit crazy. There should be another another thing out here. Hopefully I'm not screwing this up. I could be, but hopefully I'm not. Hello, dude. Bye, dude. Okay, I think this is why. I think we need to head more north. Okay, actually, where are we? Um. Oh. I think this is actually where I needed to go. Huzzah! Yeah, could we get that? I need to probably switch weapons. Um, hopefully I'm not too cold. I could switch armor, actually. Yeah, we'll hold. Um, let's put on that. And let's put on our best pair of pants. Where are my pants? They <laughs> give my pants. There we go. Cool. Ah! <laughs> 
hopefully... Yep, is gonna help chip away a lot of this guy's health, which is good for us. Bad for it. Let's see if we can get its attention again. Yeah, go grab that. Even though, you know... You literally just did that. And paid for it dearly. Okay, Master Sword is running low on energy. Oh, we're both this thing's out. Dang it. I'm not paying very good attention, am I? I guess we'll, uh, poke it to death with this. Okay, we'll climb back up here. It's gonna take some... Oh, he almost got us. It's gonna take some time to damage him, but we should be able to just kind of chip him away, which is good. Come on, come back here. Come back this way. Yep. You want that nice teeth to bum. Let's keep on attacking him. Yep, the spear is badly broken, but that's fine. We're doing great damage to it. We actually might be able to kill it with a scimitar. Yeah! Nice, I was worried about trying to kill in that last round. <laughs> okay, it is, it is dead. It landed on me, but it's fine. Drops lots of goodies, I might add. What's in the chest for us? It's a thing! How about this one? Some more stuff! Hooray! Okay. So I believe from here, it should actually be fairly simple for us to get the shrine to appear. Uh, I believe it's just... Yep. It's gonna be hopefully just sword swiping all of these, and we should be good to go. I don't think there's any kind of time limit. There better not be, I should say. Why? Because I can. It honestly probably gets us there faster. But I don't want to accidentally put the fire up. Actually, that probably added nothing to our speed. Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe I just wanted to look fancy. You, you can't prove anything. <laughs> oh, maybe you can. There's video proof. Alright, and I think this should be the last shrine that we need to get. Which I will be happy if that is the case. Let's go check it out. Also, I have to say, this is one of my favorite uh, Mulduga fights because it did not end terribly for me. <laughs> Actually, I, did I take any damage? I don't think I did. Like, I don't even think Daruk's protection did. No. I completely went unscathed in that. Pretty nice. Also, we've hit 100 shrines. It's beautiful. I love it. Can't live without it. And this is another blessing. Yep. Perfect. What do we get this time? Another bow. Nice, we actually had room for it. Alright, so that marks shrine 101. We have less than 20 shrines now to go in this game. I have to say, I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. I mean, that's probably like another... If I had to guess, 10 episodes? But, that's not terrible. That's not That's not bad. Alright, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that's everything that we've needed to do. Uh, yep. Ah, oh, speak up. Um, okay, so sorry. First off, let's grab this, because we've never been able to grab it before due to full inventory. Scimitar of the, S Scimitar of the Seven. Now what happens when we try to take the Thunderhelm? Mm. The Thunderhelm still holds some of Urbosa's power. If you want to wield that power, then you must address the concerns of my people and bring a resolute peace to our town. Then you'll be acknowledged as a friend of the Gerudo, and only then will you lend the helm to you. What am I missing? Huh? 
Uh, I thought I heard a name called out in the wind. Riju. Oh. Yeah, I hadn't been called by that name in a while. That strong, warm voice. It must have belonged to Urbosa. Oh. Such insolence. Even deeds as valor or valorous as yours do not earn you the right to speak so to the oh. chief. <laughs> Let it go, Bolaria. By calling... Er, being called by my name every once in a while isn't so bad. And this is, let's say, this is already information I have. So mm -hmm. I am missing a, a side quest. I thought I'd already gone through and done everything I needed to. So I guess between episodes, I am going to need to uh, go around and find more stuff. Uh, well, guys, we do have 101 shrines underneath their belt. I guess I will spend some time looking around. Try Hold on. Let's just take a quick look. Hold on. Okay, so those EX, those are all DLC. From the ground up, that's Hot No. Uh, Shady Customer, that's East Akala. Hot No, Hot No. Rito, Goron, Southern Mine, Gerudo Town. Um, you've solved the town's problems. Gerudo Canyon. I doubt the Gerudo Canyon one counts. So yeah, I'm going to have to spend some time off screen looking around to see if there's any possible side quests that we missed at all. Potentially there are, so this may take a little bit of time. Well, either way, guys... Our boss's fury is ready. Thank you. <laughs> either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Breath of the Wild. If you did... Oh. Interesting. The secret club secret? Okay, is that a mmm the clothes shop fashion passion has a secret entrance which only members can get in to get them you need to get password number. Once you give the password you won't be able to try again for an entire day. <laughs> wow. Okay, well that's side quest that we have definitely missed, so maybe that's uh, what we'll need to do. Either way, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, hit that like button if you'd like to see more content like this. Go ahead and subscribe. Either way, my name has been Thawin, and I'll see you all in the next episode once we can uh, finally go through and complete all the goddamn side quests in this place. So many. See you guys then.